Hi everyone, Chris here, and today I wanted to continue talking about leadership in instructional design. And I thought today would be a great day to talk about two very important leadership styles to know about. And they are the laissez-faire leadership, leadership style and the transactional leadership style. And it's important to know about both of these leadership styles. Um, not exactly because there's something you'd want to emulate, but they are certainly something that you want to be aware of and to consider when you may be falling into this trap of these two leadership styles. So the first leadership style is laissez-faire, and I love it for a couple of reasons. One is, well, you just don't have to care. Um, the laissez-faire leadership style is literally just let them do it, let them do whatever. I People say I trust them, but really it's I don't care what they do. And this is the leader who spends all day not checking up on anybody, but instead watching sailing videos, which is probably not a bad gig. But unfortunately, the laissez-faire leadership style, when you literally do nothing, usually ends with everything falling apart and people just sort of bickering and doing their own thing and no direction. Um, to use the sailing analogy, it's a ship just adrift. The second leadership style that's an interesting one and does have a place is the transactional leadership style. And this is, um, just give me the files, you know, give me the files, I'll pay you. This is for low, low interactions where it's just a transaction. You're collecting things. You don't offer a lot of guidance. It's just tit for tat. Give me what I need and I'll give you what you need, which is probably money. And there are times when both of these leadership styles sort of come out. And usually the laissez-faire style comes out when there's something bigger going on in your life. Um, you know, I mentioned the guy in his office watching sailing videos. Maybe what's going on is you're having a midlife crisis and you desperately need to buy a sailboat. Um, or maybe somebody's sick. So there are times it comes out and it's not always um, something to be hypercritical of, it's some, but it is something to watch for. Uh, because if it goes on too long, things fall apart and it's bad. Transactional leadership is... Not a bad entry point into leadership, but it's not enough to be truly effective. You need to have more than just handing out tasks and getting things back. And so tomorrow, I thought it would be great to talk about two additional leadership styles. And those are conditional leadership or situational leadership and um, transformational leadership. So two that are a little bit more adaptable to different situations. So I will talk with you then.